All right, just a quick video demo of how this installs on the GJM30. This payload delivery kit is fully integrated. There's a simple PDSK. The aircraft identified it. Uh, you'll see it here in the pictures that I post. As far as mounting it, um, there's a quick disconnect here on the bottom that allows it to come right off. Um, we do have it attached to the top of the aircraft um, via the USB-C, but here's the unit itself. You'll also note there's two high-intensity red-blue LEDs. Um, really nice, even if you're not using a payload kit, to identify your aircraft um, during daytime or nighttime flights. But it essentially locks in here, and then there's a clip here, and you'll see the clips drop behind the legs. And that's all there is to it. Um, right here you have the payload release mechanism. Um, here you hit the PDSK when it's time to drop. Gimbal your camera down and it will drop the payload. Um, but it's a very simple interface um, on the PDSK and the Pilot 2 app. So there's no other um, magic that's needed to be able to deploy this um, at the press of a finger. Uh, and in addition to that, there is a lanyard that's included with it right here um, that you can utilize or utilize your own, whatever works for your organization or agency. Um, the payload capacity of this is listed up to, I believe, 5 or 10 kilograms. That's just the weight that the mount can carry. Um, as far as the aircraft, there's not a lot of, uh, from DJI specs, there's not a lot of difference here in the takeoff weight and the payload weight. Um, but again, an emergency situation, it would very easily be able to carry all the things we're used to doing with payload kits, which are life vests, those types of things. Um, again, your own testing and uh, your uh, and your own team will um, identify what it's capable of doing and what you should not do. So that's all we wanted to do was just show you a basic video demo of this and how it attaches. Uh, if you have any other questions, by all means, reach out to us. Thanks for viewing um, and uh, come visit us at our website, firehousetechnology.com.